All right, guys, so here's a quick video on how to uh, quote on your mobile phone within next minute. It's very simple to do and the same no matter what uh, smartphone you are actually using. So you'll see on the menu there, there is quotes fall down, and you just tap on quotes there. And any of your existing quotes you might have done will show up on the screen where you can, of course, scroll up and down and open those up if you need to. Now, to create a new quote, simply go to the Actions button, bottom right corner, and tap on Add. There's a few different options you're going to be presented with here. There's, you know, quickly add a quote, or you know, use one from a existing quote, maybe copy one, um, or you know, using a, a pre-built template. And there's two of these options we're going to focus on today. The first being Quick Add right at the top. So simply tap Quick Add. And then the next screen is going to ask uh, for a few more details, such as who is your customer. And that's the first thing you need to do is decide who your customer is for this quote. So at the top, click on where it says customer. And you can select any of your existing customers here, which of course will come through from your Zero or MYOB when you hook up next minute. Or you can click actions down the bottom here. Add again to add uh, a brand new customer with new details. But for now, what we're going to do is use an existing customer and I'm just going to tap on basket case. Now, of course, there's a few other details you can refine on the screen if you need to, but it's not really necessary. All you need to do is tap Next in this case, and then you're presented with the, um, the, the way to define the item you're actually selling on this quote. So you can select from Labor, Materials, Disbursements, or other items. And uh, for example purposes, I'm going to go with Labor. And you'd enter a description here of what this Labor is actually for to show up on your quote. So just tap in there to enter and I'm going to say all of the items I am quoting for and just click done. Now in the quote total box of course this is the uh, total price that you would like to sell uh, whatever it is you're selling for and I'm just going to pop in 200 just as an example there then click set. There is the option on the screen to also attach files, photos, that kind of stuff if you'd like. Just tap on that button there and you can choose to take a new photo, browse your existing library, um, or your photo library. But for now, I'm just going to click Cancel, and then I'm going to hit Save up in the top right corner. Now that we've got the um, customer and the item we want to sell, we've got a quote. It's that simple. And of course, it's automatically going to add your uh, taxable amount at the bottom. And on the screen, you can click to edit the header notes or the footer notes. Now before we send this off to our customer, what we want to do is do a quick preview of what this looks like. So again, the Actions menu right down the bottom there, tap that, and you'll see a few options down there is Preview. And the Preview is kind of what your customer is going to see. So if I click on Preview there, this will load up a bit of a preview print, and uh, this is it. Now simply from here, if you're ready to send this to your customer, simply click on the send button there and you can email it out with a uh, nice email if you like. But uh, what I'm going to do now is show you another option of how to quote. And uh, we can hit the menu button in the bottom right hand corner which will take us all the way back to the start. There we go. So again, repeating that process, going into quotes, going to actions, and then add. And this time round, I'm going to go using a pre-built template, right down the bottom. Now, why you might use a pre-built template for your quoting is, uh, for example, if you do a lot of very similar type works, um, especially useful for those in you know repetitive jobs, handyman type stuff. And um, you can set up all of your templates, which you would want to do on your computer, and you can choose from them here. And I've got one option at the moment, which I'll choose, and then click OK. Now this same screen here, this is where you choose your customer. I'll grab Bank West for now. And then simply hit Save. Now because we'd named our template correctly previously, and we knew what was going to be in this quote, we now have all of the hours that we'd added on the template, all of the typical materials that we'd want to use, and any of this can be edited if you need to. So if you need to edit the quantity, the total amount of hours, Add additional items, of course, as you can see, I can add a new item down there. That's all possible. Of course, before sending, be sure to click Actions, and then Preview. 
just to make sure it's exactly as you want it to be for your customer. Stay tuned, uh, feel like subscribing, just do that on our channel, and um, I'm sure there'll be a lot more useful videos there for you to watch. Cheers.